Welcome back, you guys, to another episode of After We Wrap. I am your host, Gabriela Ortiz. Wait, hold on. Who's that? And I am your host, Jaina Lee Ortiz. <laughs> Pause for a reaction, you guys. For okay. those of you who aren't watching, hello. We are currently dressed in Halloween costumes. Wait. we're in October. I forgot I'm supposed to do the opening as an alien. That's right. I give up. I found her and I brought her back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, um, before we get to it, uh, I want to remind you to subscribe to wherever you're watching or listening. Leave us a rating on Apple Podcasts and don't forget to become an after party VIP at our Patreon page, patreon.com slash after we wrap show and follow and us on our social medias, right? Us a little review. We love engaging with you. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Yeah, off. please. Okay, girl. you guys. Oh, hi. Hello. Welcome back. Hola, First of all, thank you. Hola. I am so 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 excited me too he's i'm episode. done i'm done you are ridiculous <laughs> what's your ghost experience we're gonna start with ghosts i don't know what Might do you want to well. do um i i love ghosts i do uh wait have you experienced i've never experienced anything in that se- i don't think so i don't think i mean i have moments especially when i'm super high <laughs> that i like see something um but i've never i feel i feel like if there's like if i go into a room or a house or something i feel like the presence of i feel a presence there yeah um i i i would love to see a ghost one day but i don't want it to be like a (gasps) i want it to be like a a friendly ghost yeah a friendly like, ghost but i i just but i want to see it you know i want to i i want to do you look like a ghost or do you look like yourself in a ghosty shadow does that make sense i don't know you know what's really crazy um i will admit last night i actually felt something and i'm not just saying this i'm last night i had an experience it just so happened to be <laughs> last night where for the first time I won't, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to say what kind of influence I was under, but I did. I, I did. I do. do I, am I giving crazy eyes? I experienced souls. Ooh. I experienced being, I, I channeled something, something, came into my presence and was speaking through me and I I ended up delivering a message to my girlfriend. That sounds a little trippy. I I have to admit, I actually, I could hear myself how crazy I sound. But I, I had this intuitive sort of, I must have unleashed something that wow. allowed me to like have an open channel and I was able to connect through either yeah a, a, some, a soul a ghost something something that wasn't physically there but there was a presence wow. in my house and then I, I i was asking my girlfriend how do i how do i how do i stop like how do i how how do i stop the communication i don't know it just happened am i one of those people i definitely am a believer of people that are mediums, people that have mm-hmm. a connection to, do you? I do. Oh, I, 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 of course, yeah, I believe in that. And I've been wanting to meet with someone. We should do it on the show. Yes, any mediums out there? Any mediums out there that would like Please. to? Please, come on. Yeah, come on do board. Do some readings, do all of that stuff. But I really, I, I, I'm very interested in sitting down medium psych psychics? psychics psychics yeah mediums um, yep i've never done it so i'm completely like you see bruce um is feeling something in fact he was he had like a freak out moment last night it didn't dude ha- isn't it crazy how dogs know they yeah, just yeah, know yeah. they feel yeah. they sense and right before it happens and i he love just started that barking and, I'll, <gasps> and then i'm high as fuck and then i'm like what's coming what's coming something's coming to get it was really funny but what's then Shane coming? was like he's he's 
he's scared of his own shadow but it was really funny but i've heard that babies do too like uh, mm. imaginary friends um i've heard that children i think it stops at a certain age can see their imaginary friend i never i don't remember ever seeing one i don't know if you ever saw one as a kid but i remember talking a lot to something when i was a kid because I would always yeah, be yeah, like, yeah. oh, you're so yeah. funny. Like, stop telling me what to do. Yes, type of, of course. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I don't know if it was to the teddy bear. I don't know. But I do. I never, I've never as a kid. Interesting. Never, but yeah, I've heard that kids yeah. see the unimaginary or, or like yeah. that's where the imaginary friend comes from. I may be wrong. Ooh. But mm. and um, that may in fact be but listen, a spirit of some yeah, sort. Something. I believe it. I believe it too. And this is spooky season. And we have a little treat for you. Or maybe it's a trick. Trick or treat. Ooh. I feel like I want to dance. It's a very spooky producer with a spooky looper. Mira, mira. time ago i did the ouija board oh you've imagine? done one yeah and how was and that? then i we did the whole light as a feather thin as a board light as a feather thin as a board and i kid you not i felt this is gonna sound so crazy but i <laughs> i did i felt i felt the person we were we were lit, like uh-huh we had our hands tucked over I, I maybe it was an illusion i don't know but i definitely felt that Ooh. she was lifting it I, could just I, so yeah. be, and it's like the placebo effect, you know. If it's in your head, right, 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 you're gonna right. feel something. I have never done. I would love to do the Ouija board with like a group of people. Uh, I'm just scared yeah. it's gonna invite. It opens the door. Don't, I don't do but that. I but wait, did but it. what if you uh -huh. only say, "Hey, only the good ones come. We welcome you. Everyone else, you you're got not." A choice of who comes through that door when you open it. We gotta do the Ouija board on the mm, podcast. Let's do it. They're mass produced. They come on. Let's do they it. They come on. There's nothing. Well, let's just, just be a little, Kyle. It's just a little Jana cardboard I... board. I now I'm scared. I'm actually guys, scared now. Um, I invite the spooky, spooky ghosts. Yeah. I'm actually yeah. scared now. I love it. I love this. I did it with my cousin Sonia. I'm getting so many shout outs. Um, and we, but we were like ten, and we got the Ouija board. And then we we locked ourselves in the bathroom at grandma's house and then we turn off the light and then we started like doing the whole thing. But then we were just like giggling the whole time because it was just like nothing's happening. <laughs> and you ever didn't. go into the bathroom in the dark and look in the mirror and say Candyman three times? Can yes, I've I done did that, that and many nothing times. Happened. Nothing so happened. Silly. Bloody was Mary so is the other one. Bloody yes, Mary Bloody Mary. One. That one. That one's legit. Um, you know, I would love to have an encounter with like La Llorona. Or something like that. Oh, yeah. Again, is that is that La Hill Llorona. House? What is that? La well, Llorona. Whole, well, I should bring up the next episode. We're going to be talking about myths and urban legends, so we can we can oh, save this can, for the next okay, episode. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, but I did have a scary dream uh, back again in Atlanta. This is when I was living in this house, and oh man. I can still remember it. I'm sleeping, right, in my bed. And then I open my eyes and I can't move. And so my body's like, I can't move. I can't move. Help, what's happening? I can't move. And all of a sudden I see this 
man, it was a man coming, like walking. And I just see, huh? I remember this. Oh, I told you this? Yeah. Yeah. And I just see like his bottom part, like here. Wait. And then his pelvic area? Like his pelvic. Yeah. He had shorts on. His well, penis. I know, right? Just his penis. No, well, because ah! <laughs> this is attacking me. <laughs> no, I mean, because because I was like sleeping. So I can't, you know, I couldn't move. I couldn't look up. I could I could just only see what, what was right there. And then I see the pillow coming and he's oh, like trying goodness. to suffocate me and I couldn't move. And so I kept screaming, wake up, Gabby, wake up. And then I woke up. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Like I just, I remember screaming, levántate, levántate. Yeah. Dang. You even spoke in Spanish. <laughs> I think okay. it was in Spanish. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that is... Until this day, that freaks me out. And then on yeah. top of that, the this house that I lived in, the my room specifically, uh, it was red. It was like a red wine color. It was a cool color, but so like in the dream, it added, you know, the the uh, intention, the intensity of it because of like the color was like goodness. so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Goodness, but good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Dana, if you could spend one night in a haunted location, would you do it? And where and why? <laughs> I don't think so. You don't think so? No. If I knew it was haunted, probably not. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't really know, then yeah. I think so, I guess. But I don't know. I'd, but some locations, some some places, I feel like you could just get get a sense of that energy. Yeah. And sometimes it could feel cold. I did uh, go house hunting a few years ago and I I saw this house that I actually felt like there were spirits. You felt it. Like just in there, walking around. Definitely people have died there. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, and you ooh. could feel it. So yeah, I don't know. What about you? <laughs> um, yeah, I would definitely, again, if I was with a group of people, like I wouldn't do it by myself. If I did it by myself, it would be very bossy right. of If me. you were with people, yeah. but then again, will you imagine it at night you hear noises and you're in bed? That part, I don't think I would be able to sleep. Oh. I do have a, a, a big fear of like going to sleep and waking up and seeing a ghost like in front of me or like something. What does a ghost look like to you? <sighs> um, make, make like a face, like a fit, like a. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, <laughs> just like is staring it, at is me. Is it like a a wash of the person? Like, is are they just like us? I or mean, is it, is it are they faded? Faded? Are they like I would floating? See, I would. I would. Uh, I don't know much about the floating. I think it would be a rotten body. You know. Rotten. Like yeah, because it's rotten, right? Like it's oh, like the mummy from like that a, Brendan Fraser movie. Like a <laughs> like, like a decompose, decompose, yeah, like podrido, ya el cuerpo, how do you say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Podrido, rotten, um, and it's got it's moldy everywhere, and it's like so like the skeleton almost face, you know? Yeah, from the, Oy. and what Oy. if the ghost was just like what if I showed up and I was a ghost and you were a ghost this whole time? No, yeah. What if this whole time? <laughs> this I was whole a ghost? time you're a ghost. <gasps> you know what? That's actually trippy. I feel like <laughs> sometimes, don't you think like, is this even real? Yeah. Do we even exist? Yeah. Or is this just like part of our our imagination? Right. Nothing is real. Right. We're all dreaming this. We're all dreaming this. Like this is all a dream. This isn't real. But are we all collectively dreaming the same dream? Different Ooh. dreams. Different, Different dreams. dreams. Different but the same. The same but different. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god! Weird, 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 weird. Um, if you could only watch one horror movie every Halloween, what would it be and why? I would say The Shining, mm. and then my classic Child's Play. You do like you some Chucky. I love me some Chucky. You love Chucky. But the first one. Just Babe, I'm guessing yours would be Hill House. It would be Hill House over and over Ooh. and over again. The, the haunting, haunting of Hill, of Hill House? House. Yeah. Is that is that a series or a movie? It's a series on Netflix, and then it's it's a movie. The first one was made in the 60s, I think, or 50s. I can't remember right now. The and series then, was creepy. 
And then the movie was made in 1998 or 99 with Catherine Zeta Jones and uh, Como se llama? Um, the, Como se llama? That one guy. Um, Como se llama? The guy that goes, wow. Wow. Owen Wilson, oh. and then uh, um, the guy that goes, "Where's my daughter?" Uh, Liam, ne- Liam, Neeson. Liam Neeson. Yeah, Liam Neeson. thank you. Uh, and then one more, and I can't remember her name. Anyways, and then 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 it's the the show on Netflix. But another, have Halloween. you ever seen Psycho? Yeah, oh, I was gonna mention Psycho. I was gonna say Psycho, but the Hitchcock version, not the remake. Oh yeah. Uh, no one's gonna say hocus pocus. What about the- But Hocus Pocus to me like, is not scary. scary. It's okay, fun. I see. It's All right, yeah. no one's gonna say the ring. The ring was the, the ring. movie that the ring. effed it up for me. I love the ring. Man, it's I remember so good. I remember seeing it in the theater for Same. the first time. And I feel I feel like that movie kind of changed horror for a second because yeah. every movie after it for her for years was just trying to replicate what the ring did, but I'll never forget the reaction people were having in the uh-huh. theater for that movie, like crawling in their seats. They were so yeah. terrified. Yeah. Like American cinema had never seen a horror film like that. That's it true. was so intense. Yeah. And you actually, I, I walk you through this, the movie theater that I watched the movie huh? in Italy. Say it again. When we were in Italy, I pointed out that's, oh, the, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the movie theater. I saw the ring. Uh-huh. And everything changed. <laughs> I would love to be in a horror film. Hell yeah. But queen. would you be hold on. Are you a screamer? Yeah. You you're you have a good scream? You want me to show you? I, yeah. no, that's no, up no, to no, you. The dogs, the dogs will lose I don't yeah. I was like, <laughs> do you want to do that? Uh, well we can all, also go to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> She's getting ready. Uh-huh. I don't think so. It's getting her much. vocals ready. Um, that's the thing that sucks about Living well, living in an apartment complex, and if you have a self tape, like, and you have to scream, like, yeah, you know, neighbors. I mean, maybe in out out here Na- in Los neighbors Angeles, neighbors will call nine one. Yeah, yes. it's honestly rude for casting to do that as a self tape. Think about yeah, it. Casting is just like, yeah, well, I'm gonna make someone in their apartment scream. I just don't do it. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. What What's a horror movie scene that still gives you chills to this day? I can't think of a scene in particular. Yeah, I can't think of a. I guess maybe The Exorcist, the vomit yeah. in The Exorcist. Yeah. It's like, but every Halloween. Okay, so I didn't know. Do you know how many Halloween movies the the franchise there are? <gasps> I guess eighteen. Halloween with Jamie Lee Curtis and it's like fifteen, thirteen, thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, I love it! I love it! Thirteen. That's incredible. Isn't that nuts? That's incredible. Um, I don't have a sp- uh, a particular scene. Oh, I remember what. We what, were what, 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 what? No, because so, you had said you know I asked you if you were a screamer, and like I don't know if I would want to scream, but I think I would be more inclined to like ghost stuff. But I mean, I guess I have to scream there too, but like that, <laughs> like screaming. You know how I picture you with this elf, outf- not with this outfit, <laughs> but you with this wig right now. <laughs> I want to see Gabby running in the. Like running with the towel. <laughs> she's naked. She's running with the towel in the woods and she falls. <laughs> and then she gets back up and she finds, I don't know, a stick or an axe. Am, I, am I running away? She, you're running something? away, but okay. then you end up beating the, you end up beating the killer. Yes. And then the towel accidentally falls oh. out and you're still fucking going. And, you're and just I'm going. like and covered in blood. Blood covered. Yeah. Oh my God. Someone write that scene, please. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> have you had any scary experiences during I have next- so many scary experiences. Ooh. Yes. You, I have. What was the the one that like still So there's one there's one that um it's crazy. Um I can't fully share this one cuz there's something going mm. on with it right now. So my friend and and manager Kaylee Marsh, she was at my house like I don't know two weeks or two weeks, two weeks ago, months ago um, now actually. And she had asked me the same thing. What's your scariest story? Like, I really mm-hmm. want to know what your scariest mm-hmm. story is. And I thought about it and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure because I've just had so many experiences at mm-hmm. this point. Like I was like, which one? And then I started thinking like, I couldn't let it go. 
And I kept thinking about it and I kept thinking about it. And of course, like the one that I tried to block out of my mind uh-huh. was the one that I was like, oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <You know>? yeah. <laughs> so um, it was actually a place. Uh, I was exercising a place because there are entities and spaces as well. Um, and it it was something that was so scary for me that she was like, write that down for me. And I want to share it with the entire world. And I was like, oh, oh my God, okay, God go be with us when <laughs> I do this. But so I can't speak can't. on that one yet, but I will tell you that um, some of my scariest times are not actually exorcisms at all. They are visitations. So I get what I call bad moons. Uh-huh. Bad and moons. I used to call it like a paranormal period because it was like <laughs> once every like six weeks, they're <laughs> less frequent now. Um, but they were when I was like really busy and taking on way too many people and doing way too Mm. much stuff, I would get them a lot. And they're visitations by an entity I call a trickster. And what a trickster does is it convinces people that it's something positive in their life. So it forms a symbiotic relationship with people. So that's one that people actually see, but they see it as imaginary friends or deceased relatives or archangels, or, I mean, I mean, like, weird stuff. Like I've personally had clients who were like, yeah, I've had this dragon with me since I was five. (laughs) It's like, that's the trickster, Mm. you know, but it's been there their whole life. And then they're like, oh, actually, uh, I think my life might be terrible now. So I think (laughs) it should go. (laughs) Yeah. Right. But when I get visitations, I get visitations from tricksters that are not attached to people. And I think they're, you know, I don't know the motivation exactly, but I think they're, um, curious about how I see them or what, you know, cause they kind of get around unnoticed for the most part. And what makes it scary is I get visited by what, what I call ancient tricksters. So they're older. They're the ones that are like, Oh, I've been around and I'm checking this out and I don't know what this is and I need to know. And their goal is to try and get in. Like that's, that's the goal. Um, mm-hmm. they're not successful. <laughs> thank goodness. Mm-hmm. Um, because I protect myself real well, real well and I'm hyper vigilant. But I had one one time come and this was this one was a bad one. Um, it was very malevolent feeling. I felt it before it was there. And I heard mm. the electrical popping sounds that tend to come with them. Like th- these ones in particular have this electricity sound that comes with them. And I knew because it came first. I was like, oh, God, you know, like it's coming. It's definitely going to manifest. Oh, shit. So it did. Um, and it was a man like it, it, cause they always try to look human, but they don't, they're not very good at it. So it's like the worst thing you can think of, but looks like a human <laughs> cause it's, it can't fully form as a human. Like it just, it's just not very good at it. So it was a man and he manifested it. It was like a bald man. He manifested in like, you know, one of those like white undershirt things and like uh-huh. white underwear. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And he was standing over, I was sideways like this at the end of the bed. And he was standing next to me, like looking over me, just standing there. And he, why I say it it doesn't work as a human is they, they can't keep a face shape or so the eyes and the nose and the mouth were just moving a lot. Like it just doesn't, (laughs) it doesn't form very well. (laughs) Like it's messy. So once again, like he wanted to get a closer look at me, but not good at being human. So he bent all the way to the side instead of over. <laughs> so it was like completely sideways. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to push this away. Like, get the fuck out. Like, Do you actually say that? Like, oh, yeah. I t- I, get get out of here. I, well, I teach people also, too, like when they're dealing with things, even things, just any energy that they don't like. I'm like, you tell it to get the fuck out. You yes. don't just say get out because what you're actually doing is raising your vibration. You're standing mm. in your power when you do that, when okay. you curse. Yeah. So um, I was like, yeah, you need to, you need to get the fuck yeah. out, like yeah. go whatever. And it eventually went, but it went so slowly <gasps> that it unmanifested. So it was, it, which is very unusual, but old ones do whatever they want. They're old. So, <laughs> You know, they're like, I've had done, I've had a life. I'm do what I want. (laughs) So he unmanifested like from the waist up first and just left the bottom. (gasps) And then the rest went and then the electric sound. Yeah. Well, what do you think his intentions were? You know, 
that one, like I say, I think the, the visitations are more curious than anything. Um, there are times where they do try to get in. That particular one did not try to get in. He was okay. just like wanting to see or whatever. Mm-hmm. I've had other visitations where they've tried to get in. So my, I always talk about the, the first one I ever had, like when I started working on people. Such a mess. It was such a mess. I was in my bedroom. Obviously, these always happen at night. They're just very strong at like three o'clock in the morning, mm. you know, like two to five a.m. kind of. Um, so, of course, of course, I had my. Uh, this is so weird. I like. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Yeah. I had my Peloton in my room. A Peloton? Yeah. Oh, okay. My, my bike. bike. I had my bike. Now I have it all, but I had my bike uh, in the corner of the room. And I had a uh, a bathroom where it was like a glass glass ish door, so you could see when the light was on. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So the light was on in the bathroom, and uh, the door was closed, so I could see. I guess is what I'm saying, like into the room, like it wasn't okay. like pitch dark mm-hmm. or anything. And keep in mind, I'd never had this before, so this was like real weird. <laughs> And now it's like, oh, it's you, but, you know, but at the time I was <laughs> oh like, my oh my gosh. God. So anyway, there was a girl walking around the room, a blonde girl, very normal looking girl, ponytail. And she was throwing like my clothes, like a shirt or something like over the side of the Peloton, you know, like on uh-huh, the uh-huh. bike's front. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like it was like a hanger, like just, you know, throwing stuff. I don't, I don't remember if like my closet was open or my hamper was open or something, but she was Uh just doing that. And she was like, oh, so that thing I told you about. And I was like, what? (laughs) I had no idea what was going on. She's just talking. And she's like, yeah, that thing, it has ghosts in it. And I was like, that's such a bizarre, first of all, thing to say, like what has ghosts in it? And Mm -hmm. also like, who is this person? Like Mm -hmm. what is happening right now? So I just kind of like laid there for a minute and I was pretty stunned and I didn't know what was going on because she didn't look like an entity at the time, you know? So she just uh, kept going back and forth, putting clothes on top of it. And she's like, yeah, you got to take it off. It's got a ghost in it. And I was like, what is she? And then, then I was like, I think I might've said like, what or whatever. And she was like, the ring, you got to take it off. It has ghosts in it. And I was, I looked down at my hand and at the time I was married and I had put protection on my wedding ring. And so I was like, oh shit, she's trying to get me to take off a protected item. Cause I didn't have tattoos. I didn't have any of those things yet. I wasn't sophisticated what? enough for that. I had to go through some shit before I did that. So immediately I, I was like, who are you? And the second I did it, she swooped over my laying down body was here in my face and tried to push in what was she she was trying to be you she She was trying to get in she was trying to get in she was trying to possess i have looked up what you find puerto rican spooky legends oh and i need to see i need to see i need to test you la llorona oh la llorona yeah tell me what you know about i have no idea so la llorona is the the weeping woman the one that lost her child due to drowning so then she goes and hunts haunts children um and calls them and then drowns them that is what it says mm-hmm. it's uh supposed to be a mom that lost her children and and that in the nighttime she could be heard crying and begging for the children mm-hmm. she lost Oy. and and there's yeah. there's been there has been clips on since you're we're on pr uh that they have seen la llorona in like deep in the woods and I was just gonna ask you forest. It, it's set in a town. Do you know what town that is? No, which actually it's I don't. set in the town of Coamo. In Coamo, many Stop. drivers, yes, many drivers say that they have seen a woman on the side of the road by Las Calabazas Bridge. Shut up. They mentioned that ignoring her wasn't enough because she would appear inside the car. Many people think that this is the reason why there are so many accidents on that bridge. <gasps> I, oh my god I have one of my good friends she's from Coamo I have to I'm gonna call her and ask her oh my god but I have seen footage that, really? they, that the news has posted um, the of that's okay. the bridge 
Look up La Llorona. Of, of wow. La Llorona walking La Llorona. in La Llorona. the highway, like on the highway, like mm -hmm. walking in the, yeah. That's crazy. Do you know about El Vampiro de Moca? I've heard about it. I don't know much about it. Uh, so in 1975, a legend about a vampire haunting the town of Moca became famous in the whole country. Ooh. Farm animals, I would, it should say island. Yeah. Uh, farm animals from all over the town were appearing dead with a round shaped bite from an unidentified creature with, and with no blood. The town started to believe that these attacks were done by a vampire. <sighs> Love it. Yeah. Love it. The description given by those who claimed they saw the vampire is that this creature had wings and two sharp fangs to attack the victims. Ooh. The newspapers during that year covered the news about the vampire daily. And then, of course, we know the chupacabra. Chupacabra, yeah. Jacinto's well. No sé. Jacinto's well. What's that? There is a natural well in Playa... Playa Hobos, Isabela, oh, Isabela okay. which is known as El Pozo de ja Jacinto, Jacinto oh, okay. or Jacinto's Well. Legends says that there was a farmer named Jacinto, Jacinto, Jacinto uh -huh. who took out his cows to eat around the area. He held his cows with a rope that he secured around his waist. And during a rainy day, one of the cows was scared of the thunder and ran until it <gasps> fell inside the well, taking Jacinto too. So nowadays, if you step close to the well and shout, Jacinto, dame la vaca, the waves hit harder, the rocks around it. The legend also says that you need to shout in Spanish since Jacinto never learned English while he was alive. So he doesn't understand any other language. Stop. So you better go to that I'm spot gonna go to Isabela. And, and talk okay. to him. Oh, what about, isn't that interesting? That is. What about the gargoyle? La Galgola, yeah. La Galgola. La ga Galgola. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, a gargoyle. So you want to Galgola. I just learned that. I was today years old when I. <laughs> Wait, who sings that song? Joy, uh, Joy Lee Randy. I used to dance with them. <laughs> okay, so I had no idea. Uh, the most recent urgent legend hitting the streets of Puerto Rico is <laughs> La Gargola in the town of. Barceloneta. Barceloneta, okay. During the month of August 2018, very recent, some eee. animals were killed and many claimed that they had seen a two-legged creature with a pair of wings mm. that smelled like sulfur and that looked like a gargoyle. Many brigades around Barceloni Barceloneta went out to the forest trying to catch it. That's cool. That's very weird. And they also made a song out of it. And they made a song. So <laughs> I love gargoyles though. Gargoyles. Gargoyles? Yeah. You do? Yeah. What do, do you, you remember love the them? Disney show Gargoyles? <gasps> no, I don't. Oh my god. Um that's it for PR. I think so. La La Garita del Diablo. Ah, La Garita del Diablo is my favorite. Really? Mommy. I have I'm learning about this for the Listen. first time. This legend is also amongst the island's classics. And it goes way back when the Spaniards were colonizing Puerto Rico. Centuries ago, the citizens of San Juan faced, faced off invaders' attacks. For this reason, the Spanish authorities built up a fortress with various watching towers, better known as garitas. Uh, the soldiers in charge of keeping watch would call each other from time to time to keep themselves awake and alert. However, there was one garita that was isolated from the rest of the others. Mm -hmm. The soldier who kept watch over this particular garita was known by his surname, Sanchez. One night, the soldiers called out to Sanchez and waited for, for his typical reply, but no feedback was heard. And when the first sun rays of the next day illuminated the solitary garita, the soldiers went to look for Sanchez at his station. The only thing they found there, however, were Sanchez's uniform in perfect condition yep. and his rifle placed on a corner. Yep. As for the soldier himself, he was nowhere to be found. Soon after, the people around town started to spread the rumor that the devil himself took Sanchez to hell. It wasn't the devil. What? And then sometime later, it was rumored that Sanchez was not taken by the devil, but rather that he voluntarily deserted his post and his soldier life to run away with the native woman on the island. I mean, I believe that. Oh. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was like, I'm done. I'm done, yeah. I'm done. I found myself a Gabby. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, if he ran away with the woman and they think it's the devil, what's the difference? I mean, yeah. I support women. I believe. Okay, that last part about him running away. Okay, I get it. I was told it was yes. the woman that killed him. Basically, like he got, uh, como se dice, seduced. Ooh. Yeah, and then she <laughs> killed them. But this makes more sense that he ran away and he's like, I'm done. Yeah, that's I'm quitting. Crazy. Here's my here's my night notice. That's nuts. <laughs> here's my two weeks. Do you know the dismembered bodies of Lajas? No. Oh my gosh. Uh God. throughout the years, multiple citizens of Lajas have reported, look, this could all be fake, but eh, hey, it's it, the internet. They uh the citizens of Lajas have reported seeing dismembered bodies wandering around the PR 116 road. Oh, 116. Uh, they say that when the dogs bark in the middle of the night, it's a warning sign for those who walk around that oh. road. People have reported extensions of torsos without their extremities, bodies cut in half, and legs hopping about at the distance. These dismembered bodies belong to the spirits of those who have died in automobile accidents on that oh. road, which generally have ended up dismembered. Gotcha. Ooh. Damn. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, wow. the Intercontinental Hotel in Ponce? ¿Qué pasó ahí? Oh my goodness. This hotel in Ponce is known is also known as the Haunted Castle. Look, believe whatever you want to believe. This could all be fake, but it's just fun to... I don't know. The Intercontinental Hotel in Ponce. Those who have visited the abandoned building have reported hearing voices, laughter, cries, and screams, as well as seeing apparitions and objects move without a visible cause. The whole place is charged with a strong, unnerving energy. It is said that the presence of the spirits lurking in the hotel is due to the fact that tra the tragedy of Mameyes, Mameyes, Mame Mame Mameyes of October 7th, 1985 transpired just next to the building. This unfortunate event was caused by the tropical storm Isabel, which devastated over the 400 houses along with the in inhabitants that lived in it. Is that true? Ooh. I don't think I've ever heard of that, but I am it may not be true. very curious. I don't know. The extraterrestrials at El Yunque? Yeah, I've heard of that. Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's a myth. It's a myth. It's just a myth. Well, what does it say? About it says that uh, since El Yunque is a huge place to wander through, there, ha there have been many visitors who have disappeared in the foliage without leaving a trace. It is commented that there is a possibility of the existence of beings from other worlds who take the lost wanderers with them. Ooh. A topic that has been discussed amongst uh, among the, the Department of Defense of the United <laughs> States. Yeah, I don't know. It has also ordered further... Uh, investigations of reported ufo cases in mm -hmm. el yunque mm -hmm. yeah that i've heard listen um Puerto is there Re any no taino stuff in there Watch out, oh my gosh the cookie and the goddess okay <laughs> oh this is not scary is this tiana <laughs> there was once a beautiful goddess who fell in love with Koki. it's her version the, of the tiana. chief's son <laughs> When he went out to fish, she would make sure that he came back with a big catch and oh. he would sing praises to her. One evening, she came to him in the form of a Taino maiden and they fell in love. She told Koki that she would come back to the, the next evening at moonrise, but the next evening came and with it came the evil Huracan. <gasps> the sky blackened and the, his winds howled and the goddess tried to protect her lover, no. but Huracan snatched him away and she never <gasps> saw him again she did not know how he could go on without her beautiful koki <gasps> so she created this tiny frog that will forever call for him koki koki that's cute oh that's cute that's kind of cute anyway that's all Aww. i got that was cool honestly these i i i don't think i'd be able to tell these stories at night not at night, not before bedtime. Okay, so bringing it way back, I grew up in a family where like the paranormal wasn't a question, it was an accepted thing. I grew up in a Victorian like fourplex 
And I mean, I, it was just haunted as hell. I never visually saw things, but it was always seeing things. When I was little, I was like, the people are talking to me and I couldn't sleep to the point where my parents switched bedrooms with me because I was so terrified of the you, bedroom. Wait, you could hear Whoa. voices? Apparently when I was little and I would tell my parents really weird things. Um, and then we switched bedrooms and, uh, <laughs> Uh, it wasn't really an issue anymore, but I did have a recurring nightmare my entire life of a little boy hiding underneath my dining room table. And years later, I was stopped in the street and I was, a person was like, I'm so sorry, but I have to tell you something. Like you have a spirit attached to you and it's, they followed you from your childhood home. And I was like, Jesus Christ, like this is way too much. Like I'm just trying to like get to Nordstrom right now. Like this is insane. And I Nordstrom, <laughs> didn't. Nordstrom to be specific. <laughs> I was, wait, how I, old are you? Th at this point, I had, this was literally when I went back to Seattle. I was walking down the street in downtown Seattle, headed to the Nordstrom flagship, which is the best, which is why it's very specific. Um, and I was on a mission because it was a pair of shoes that I wanted to get. This is very intense. But this person stopped me on the street and they told me this and I didn't say anything because I was just like kind of dumbstruck by it. And then they walked away. Like, what do you do with that information? Years later, I'm hanging out with a friend from acting class. She's looking over my shoulder constantly. And she's like, I just have to tell you something. I don't want to freak you out, but I can see spirits and you have something attached to you that has followed you from your childhood home. And I'm like, oh God, here we go. Like, here we go. And she's like, do you want to know his name? I'm like, no, 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 no. She's like, well, I'll tell you it starts with a V. And that's all I, I didn't want to know anything about it. Like I just, I, I didn't research it. I didn't do anything. And like all this time when I'm growing up, going back again, my parents would take me to like cemeteries and historic places whenever we travel. Cause for them, like my dad's a musician, my mom's very much into story. And so I was just, everyone was artists and it was just story, you know, like a graveyard is just stories buried. Mm -hmm. And so I've always been drawn to them. I find them very peaceful. Um, and mm -hmm. I also get really, if you really want to get like deep with it, it's mm -hmm. like, you know, you're walking across this land of people that each had these stories mm -hmm. and no one's really telling those stories. And mm -hmm. if I think to say these people's names out loud, to tell their story again, it's helping them live on mm -hmm. in a really beautiful way. And as a person that's always been terrified of mortality, I just find it very rewarding to be able to help other people kind of live on in that way. So that was something that my parents and I would just always do. Um, but as far as like paranormal investigation or trying to contact spirits, like, no, thank you. Like I already had weird stuff happening as a kid. I wasn't trying to invite it, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After I started doing the research that I'm doing now, I have now gone back and looked up my home address. I did find a newspaper article of a three-year-old boy that jumped from the balcony of my apartment and his name was Victor. And it started with a V. Oh! Yeah, 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 oh yeah. God. You know what, you guys? Oh, I have never done this. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Eddie, tell them how much you love this I activity. Hate. Don't you have a yearly pumpkin carving? I have a friend. Carving? I have a friend. He does carving pumpkin. Uh, what, what did I say? Car carving, carving pumpkin. Pumpkin, Car pumpkin carving. <laughs> well, earlier I said mouth is. So. I have a friend who does this, right? And and he he knows how much I hate it. But... Because I always do it wrong. My, my stuff always looks ugly. I know. My stuff always comes out Careful with that glass. It's stressing me out. Don't worry, honey. It ain't going to spill, okay? Ah. You guys, I already, <laughs> I already broke. I'm already almost done with my, the top piece. And well, this okay, is, so why do Americans uh, view do this? I want to live in America. Energy? Why do Americans like to do this? What is it behind it? What's the, what's I have the no purpose idea. behind it? American I didn't know research, research. I didn't know research on this. And, okay. Because I don't uh, think... In PR or Italy, this is a thing. Another excuse for capitalism. More capitalism. It gets oh, out ours. ding, 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 ding. I mean, I don't it know. It gets out there all of is. our serial killer instincts. Whoa! Did I? Okay, let's calm down <laughs> here. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't Do you blow the, the mic out. The smallest hole. You're going to have to stick your hand in there and get all the guts out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you have oh. to, like. Oh, I have to b do a bigger hole? Enough to get your hand in. That's what she said. Ooh. Ooh. I... Oh, yeah, so here's the... Um... Pumpkin carving is a tradition that originated from Irish myth oh. and the ancient Celtic How festival your people? <laughs> of Samhain. Of what? Uh, the, here's a quick story. The story of Stingy Jack, a man who tricked the devil in the origin of the jack-o'-lantern name. After Jack died, he was never allowed into heaven or hell, blah, blah, blah. People carve pumpkins. <laughs> okay. Got it. Thank you for blah, the blah, history blah, lesson. Blah 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 blah. Can I have a Jack? Can I have a, the other tool? 
or the, you need the scooper. Oh, yeah. You How need the gonna... scooper. You got to get the scooper. So. Yeah. <laughs> it fits perfectly. <laughs> Eddie definitely did the best. Let me, oh. that Let me get that wide spoon, really please. Yes, it. thank you. Hold on. Let the me take out my bracelet. I've had too many, too, too many years of to. practice, ah! and I hate it. Let's see your hole, Eddie. Uh, here Ooh. you go. The pumpkin. You're right. Hole. I need a bigger hole. Where did I come in from? <laughs> Oh, this is a, this is gonna be this is gonna be a very interesting. Oh, that's what she said. This is okay. Mira, so the idea is, ya tú sacaste esto, ¿verdad? So the idea is you gotta walk out, walk out. Really? Yeah. yeah. So you gotta like, and oh. you gotta get the edges. You have to make it very thin on the inside. Oh, so you're an expert at <laughs> yeah, this. You're an expert. I hate doing this. <laughs> well, clearly. So you, and it's gonna get messy, honey. And we'll be cute. It and we'll is. Be cute. Oh yes. So you got the idea is that you got to make it thin and like like you got to clean it out. So, <laughs> okay. So anyone interested in learning how to carve a pumpkin, this is it right here. This is your tutorial. It's not going to get any better than this. Okay, guys. Question. Answer. Favorite movie? Halloween movie when you guys were a kid. I know Favorite. what you did last summer. <gasps> she used to have dreams about Chucky. Boy, I hate Chucky. I, 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 I dreamed that. Chucky's scared. I dreamt that. I used to dream that he, I convinced him to be my boyfriend. Chucky, the Chuck. dog. So that he wouldn't kill me. Chucky, not Chucky. So I persuaded him to fall <laughs> in love Chucky. with me and to, to get on his good side so he wouldn't kill me. I, I, I love that. I love that. Was this a dream or was this a dream or did you play <laughs> this as a child? Uh, no, as a kid. As a kid. And my mom didn't want me to watch it because she thought it was too <laughs> scary and inappropriate. That's but wow. I watched it anyway on that VHS tape. Stuck yeah. that baby in. And I would watch it. So I know what you did last summer. I know what you did last summer. You know how many times I watched that movie over and over and over I again? I love the yeah, part when, oh, when Jennifer Love Hewitt's like, What are you waiting for? Ooh, her... That, oh, I know. that tank top. I know. God. That was I one know. of my first crushes. I yeah. think, I think <laughs> mine too. Yeah. I Jennifer think, Love Hewitt. Oh, yeah. I think if I ever, when I ever meet Jennifer Love Hewitt, I'm going to say, hey, I'm so Whoa. sorry, but I think you you awoke my bisexualism. <laughs> I think she'd make a, you know, not for selfish reasons because I used to have a major crush on her, but I think she'd make a fantastic guest on this podcast. Yeah, I would die. Would. I oh would die. I'd be... I, I, I'd be so I honored to have her. I'd probably her. cry. Fun I fact. would show her posters of my room and or posters, pictures of my room. Fun 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 fact what? With her posters on my wall. What? Um, oh no, I was gonna say something I completely forgot. But we're talking about Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh Jennifer Love, I uh Freddie Prince Jr. Hello. Thank you so Fine. much. Hello. Fine. Papito. Are you kidding me? His little smile and his Oh my god, do not, not lose your American. rings, Gabby. Yeah. Are you crazy? You're putting your rings where the guts go? <gasps> you can't okay, okay, okay. Don't lose them. So guys, guys, also you gotta okay, scrape good. enough of the actual walls to to make it thin. Ew, the uterus walls? That's what I thought. Instantly thought uterus walls. I'm sorry. I don't like I'm never scraping. coming here ever again. <laughs> You said that last time. <laughs> um, this Mine is was, yeah, I know. Yeah, what was yours? I know, stereotypical, probably everyone's heard it, like, Hocus Pocus. Like, it's tradition. Well, yeah. It's tradition, it's oh, culture. Yeah. Is, yours yeah. is Hocus Pocus? Hocus Pocus. Love it. I like Hocus I Pocus. I I love the sequel. I like the original. The original is well, always yeah. going to stay close Nothing to the heart. Nothing will ever right? be better than the original, other than Rush S Hour Sisters! <laughs> we'll find the potion. No, we'll find the book. Brew the potion. <laughs> I love that. Amak, 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 amak. Um, I that part. Very nostalgic. Very, you know. I, you know I what? Loved it. I guess this is the opportunity for me to pitch a costume. I would. I've always dreamed of Please doing the sisters, some. but I don't have, like, I don't have the friends. That want to dress up as I'll the dress, sisters. I'll dress up as. So, I'll dress up as a. Will anybody is, be willing to? Which is the the, the, the really one who calls like way, this? What's her I'm name? I'm enjoying this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What's her name? I forgot her name. Someone be them. But Mary. Mary. Mary? Yeah, okay. I'll be Mary. I like. You'll Mary. be Mary. All right. I. I like just Sarah Jessica Parker. Like, I love him. I love him. <laughs> a, boy. a boy. I see why you don't like pumpkin carving. Also, 
This is exo- this is Am I getting <laughs> This well, is a shift. So competitive that like That's this true. Is a shift. Dana is very Stop. competitive. This is a shift, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Take it off. <laughs> the wig is off. I know. I'm so sorry. It hurts. Okay, Viola it Davis in how to get a little better. <laughs> yes. Let's go. All right. So, Angel Spirit Guides higher power. Please in- question. Please envelop me in the white light of protection. Hmm. any negative energy and energy that does not serve. Gabby and only lets in love light and energy that helps Gabby ascend to her highest good. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. You don't need to be nervous. Do you no. have a question? Yeah. I do, but I am nervous to ask it because I don't want it to sound egotistical or like. Do you have siblings? Mm-mm. Okay. Like, I don't want it to be like, oh, why are you worried about that? But there is a reason why I worry about that. Well, I mean, the thing is, is like, you don't have to front load. We wanna okay. just see what comes out and then you can, it can prompt you. Okay, let's do that, let's do that. Three cards. Oh no, not yet, didn't cut. You have a choice to make though. What's my choice? Well, it's a little definite. Three, ma- three cards for Gabs. Three cards for Gabs. Three cards for Gabs. You just have a lot of tension. There's a lot of pressure. Like I feel you grinding your teeth. I feel you. I feel there's a lot of jaw. There's a lot of jaw tension. There's, damn. And it's tight in your heart. Like I feel it right here. There's like a, a tightness to you. Yeah, I don't know who this is, but it. You're not in charge of everything. So don't put that burden on yourself. It's, it's not yours to carry. It's not yours to carry. I don't know who that is, but it's, it's not. Baby, you're, you're putting too much on you. You don't have to. You don't have to. Just make up. Make up. <laughs> Three cards. Can I move this? This Uh is in my way. You are, the tower came up before. Oh, baby, you got to play. You got to play to make. You're in this duality. You're in this duality. This is your head. So the fool is a new start. But this is where you're at right now. You are in this place where you're looking behind you. You're looking. How do I say this? So you could be the fool. The fool is a new start. The fool is leaping blindly and, and imagining, you know, it's like jump, jump and the, and the parachute will appear. It's this idea of you are stuck as the king of swords. There's something about you energetically where you're in your head and you feel that you need to be almost led to calmer waters that you will find happiness that way. When in fact, you need to take the reins and you just need to dive headfirst into whatever it is you want to make happen for yourself. You have all the knowledge you want. The king is the, is the, the, king is the highest court card in, um, in thought. So the, the way that tarot works is you have the major arcana and the mi- minor arcana. The minor arcana are cups, pentacles, 
wands and swords. Swords are thoughts. Wands are actions. You're in your head about having to kind of move towards a happiness that you envision for yourself rather than jumping into what brought you joy as a child, what brought you joy, like just, just blindly jumping. But a new start is on the horizon if you're able to move yourself forward and move yourself away from the tethers of how you thought your happy home was going to be. The thing is, is your book ended by happiness. Yellow is, is the card of the sun. It's joy. But I think there's an initiative that you're hesitant about taking where you're putting your happiness in your own hands as opposed to being led to your happiness. But you have the happiness within you. There's, there's a start that's on the horizon. You just need to choose it. You either, you can, so the choice is either be led to happiness and or what is the what are you let's, 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 let's jump into the world. let's get full jumping towards to a new opportunity a new passion and a real sense of generosity and stability girl there's like a maternal energy on the other side and they're really excited for you to like, just, it's just, they're like, Ay, es muy pesado. it's just too heavy. Mm -hmm. You're just, you're carrying something, girl. You're carrying something that's too heavy and it's not yours to carry. And they're really excited about you waking up to the fact that you are going to start. Like I can just, it's heavy. It feels like rocks. It feels like rocks on your back. And oh. someone on the other side just wants you to just, it's not yours. It's mm. not yours. And they're really excited for you to shed the weight, shed the dead weight, just shed, shed it. And I don't, yeah, it's someone maternal and they want you to, they're like, you know, please, please don't, por favor, like, just don't do this. Don't, you don't, it's not yours. It's not yours. Live your life. It's not yours. Is that it? Please? Yes. We got it close. No, I'm talking to them. Oh. <laughs> Please. You done? Well, yeah. She's mad at me. Okay, so Angel Spirit Guides, she's, she'll talk to you later. <laughs> Angel Spirit Guides, higher power, please envelop us in white light of protection. Please close this channel. Be Gabby. Just talk to her later, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Please close this portal, but please continue enveloping us in a white light protection that only blocks out negative energy, but allows positive energy to help us ascend to our greater good and thus uplift the good of all humanity. And so it is. And so it is. All right. Now we're done. Woo! Oh, thank you so much. That was ha. Wow. Hoo, hoo. That he, was. Ha. Well, <laughs> this was an experience. This was. Like you said. I mean, Yeah. We I hope it, it made sense. No, it, 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 it does. And yeah. the fun thing is, is like, you, I think everyone can learn, right? Yeah. Like people, you'll be like, oh man, I feel that. It's easier for you to kind of, every, I learn something about myself every time I read. Because mm. again, it's me interpreting those mm. cards. So how I feel today is going to affect how I interpret it today and how I affect that in, entire spread could come up for you and I would interpret it completely differently. Oh. You know? And so it's just, it's all energy. It's all how we're feeling on the day. But it's also a really good vibe. And it's like, and see how it's like, it's not predictive. It's just ideas to think about, to check yourself mm -hmm. with. And that's where I come from when I do tarot. We're going to end this episode with some spooky tunes by Kyle Health. This was after we wrap, folks. That's right.
My gosh, look who it is. It's look who has just showed up. Look who is just getting dressed. Oh my gosh. Louis, look. Call Louis. Call Louis over. <laughs> look at Louis. Oh my gosh, Louis doesn't care at all. 